that. Who has found three of them? I have. That's pretty awesome. What? Now I'm trying to get to that one. I've been longing for that for so long. Dangerous. We're gonna flag it. With 700 kilometers per hour. Take it to break the board. Nachbar Lange produce a code P490. Luftwaffe aircraft fuel tank. Famous MG 34. Main fuse on the center there. Data is uh, in the right time frame. really have to look for it to find it. It's insane! Untouched. Still here. It's a bunker! Yes, that is what it's all about. Going out, finding history and sharing history and learning from history. And we do it together. Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome all my fantastic viewers, subscribers, commenters and supporters. Today is a special day. Supporters day where I give back to you incredible people out there. We're also going to have some news, a little sneak peeks. I have something massively cool new things and stuff coming up. I'm starting something completely new and I can't wait to share that with you. But we are going to pass on to you some beautiful dioramas and artifacts from the Second World War and I am going to be so proud to announce something very special and we're going to do that later but first let's check out this through these gates all the prisoners had to pass every day when they went out or into the camp all right we are going in in full force and i have to say this is exciting all right so you want to see the special item Boom. <laughs> the searchlight is, they just probably just threw it outside there and said, we don't want to get, bring it back. Yep, 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 yep. That's what it's all about. And we can't wait to share that. Before we go any further, I want to say a massive thank you to some special people to support us on Patreon, our beautiful team members. And these are my officers. I want to say personally, thank you to Grant, Matt, Dennis, Oma, Alfred, Joshua, Daniel, Nick, Heinrich, and Cynthia. Thank you for your incredible support to the team. Could not have done it without you. So very, very glad for that. We have some three-star generals. Let's start and say thank you to Laura, Dennis, Daniel, and Rob. We have some incredible four-star generals, Vintage Speedworks, Michael Oliver, and Emil Anderson. And on the top, we have two five-star generals that could change in the future here. So thank you, Roy and Jess. And I need to show you the Wall of Honor, where there are two people right now, Marty and Roy. You know why you're there, and I have nothing to kind of do other than say thank you thank you thank you you're contributing a lot to our work and we we don't know how to say thank you at least I can do this and you are honorable members of the wall of honor so thank you for your incredible support during the time me and Eagle Eyes we just came back from a incredible summer road trip and we are bringing back more than 30 very exciting adventures and some of them will be like this all right we have made a few jpegs because this is fantastic but this piece is so large that i would say it must be a wing piece wouldn't you agree i haven't got a clue just how big it is you could be a wing piece is there something underneath the wing piece yep underwater exploring at its best and this thing here the five fish v6s from qyc is really really showing us the performance of this little wonderful tool that we have and that's just the beginning i can promise you you won't believe what we discovered when we were out there during this summertime let's jump 
straight into this. We have some new Patreon team members in July. I want to say thank you to Ronnie, Mary, David, Andrea, Edward and Ricardo. Welcome as team members of the History Hunter team. And uh, this is a little welcome as team member thing. I'm going to pass on to one of you. It's a Third Reich daily life little diorama with an authentic um, cigarette and card that the German soldiers could collect and uh, kind of swap and exchange it in the fields, in the barracks, in the bunkers. And uh, I just love them and it's real genuine and uh, just a beautiful little thing. So who are we passing that on to? That goes to Andrea. Welcome to the team and together we will share history in a very special way. And don't forget that when you're a team member, you can see all the behind scene videos, the, ex the travel vlogs, the restoration project. Oh my goodness, you're gonna see some really, really cool projects coming up now in the autumn. And uh, there are so much material for you to enjoy and there's gonna come more. We're gonna work harder and harder to make sure that a lot of you will turn up and become team members because there is something going on that I'm going to explain to you regarding YouTube and some of their guidelines and blah 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 so well I'll get back to that but thank you and uh, now Andrea you are the proud future keeper of that beautiful little World War II diorama. This is actually a pretty special thing to find here because I actually didn't expect it to be here so that's kind of neat. You want to see what's here? That's what's here. Looks like there were two rooms here. I put a link to the Patreon thing in the video description as well. But this is it if you don't kind of have it. But in the video description, there's a clickable link. So you check that out if you want to. We are going to pass on to you some more. We have a beautiful German World War II postage stamp there in 1942-12. The gentleman on the uh, stamp there needs no introduction. You probably know who he is. <laughs> and we have a mouse, a K98 cartridge here, put up there. And that was found uh, actually inside the inner defensive circle of uh, Berlin. So that is pretty cool. So that is going to be passed on to you, Scott. Thank you so very much for becoming a team member and uh, very glad we can pass that on to you. And this one goes to Adam. You know who you are. If I don't have all the addresses, just send them to me and I don't use your after name because I don't know if you like that. So beautiful things. Hope you enjoyed them, take good care of them. You will be the future keepers of these. And I hope you keep them for a very, very long time. Now, let's have a little look at this. This is the huge main power panel, and it's still here. That's the machine gun that shutter, which they could cover the whole hallway. And that was for internal protection. Wow, there you go. Never say never. Never, never doubt yourself that you'll be able to find stuff that is very rare. Yeah, that's what you get when you tag along with the History Hunter team. We go out, we find history, we do research, we travel, and we share all our findings with you, and we do that in a very special way. And also, we're going to pass on to you something more here. We have this fantastic 9mm Luger munition cardboard box, and we have this German MG42 classic with the... Uh, belt links and a cartridge from uh, the Eastern Front where actually the SS were and the Red Army came in, crushed everything and today it's just small pieces of the history left. But it's beautiful pieces and it tells us so much. This one goes to Jerry, you know who you are and I hope this camera which has some issues with the focus are going to do a job and this one goes to Jim, you know who you are. Hope that comes through. So, beautiful artifacts found by us when we go out and we find history and we might find it in this way here. 
This is the uh, kitchen. Absolutely crazy to see. Inside the mountain, they very precisely created the meals for the soldiers. They lined up here. Yep, there you go. Um, every month I choose a uh, what I call patron of the month or team member of the month uh, at my discretion. And uh, this month I've chosen a gentleman who's been with us for a very long time. It's almost as I can feel the friendship as the soldiers do when they're partying inside the bunker. And this is a beautiful little piece with the um, genuine artifacts. There's a button there, a here button, and a broken bottle top that maybe was the leftovers of a very wet and wild party going on between friends, comrades, and uh, that's what I consider you to be. And that is why I want you to have this as a little token of our appreciation. Patron of the month, July, Michael, thank you for being in there for us. You are one of the people who kind of makes things happen. And without that support, it will be very difficult for us to do what you see. So thank you, Michael, and uh, congr congratulations of being the patron of the month of uh, July. All right, now to something a little bit serious. Um, Gonna do it as briefly as I can. Um, YouTube has made some uh, changes in the algorithms. Some channels kind of benefits from that, some channels really don't, and typical channels like mine really don't. And you can see it by the views coming way, way down. And I'm actually doing the same thing. I have a lot of positive comments and people telling me that they enjoy the material. It's just that the huge algorithm machine of YouTube are basically not kind of that interested in, you know, getting our material up there as they used to, and that's okay. Um, but I'm gonna continue to do what I do. I'll continue doing it as long as there are people to watch. But I would ask you to please see and consider something if you are just a regular subscriber. Um, you don't have to be a team member. You don't have to donate on PayPal or anything like that. But I will ask you very kindly to, do, to help us out to counter the changes of the YouTube algorithm. And I'm gonna show you very easy how you can do it. First, when you watch our videos, please don't skip them like doom, 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 doom. If you watch them in full, you'll definitely help us to go higher on the algorithm. If you hit the subscribe button, you definitely help us out. And what YouTube algorithm really, really likes is that if you hit the like button, that's considered a activity on the channel. And if you comment as well, let's say we have 20,000 views, let's say we get 20,000 comments and likes, well, guess what's gonna happen? That video is going to, boom, skyrocket up and help us to reach more people, and that way enables us to do more. So it's absolutely very, very simple. All of you who support us already or team members or kind of been with us, you know all of this, but there are thousands upon thousands of you who never hit the like, you enjoy it, all of that, but doesn't take a long time. Watch the videos in full, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. I promise you, if you help us out by doing this and subscribing, you'll be notified, you hit the notification bell, and guess what? We will be able to get back to where we were. So instead of maybe getting like 10,000 views, we might get 40, 50, 60, 100, and 200, whatever. I'm not here for the views, to be honest. I'm here to share, and I really wanna share with as many people as I can. I will, as I said, continue to do this for as long as I have this interest of doing it. And I think that will be a very long time, considering we have Eagle Eyes on our team and he's just started. But I really, really want to try to build something in the long run that makes or enables my son to be able to maybe continue this quest of searching for history. And that's only gonna happen with your kind help. So please consider, next time you see a video, maybe this one, 
go in, just leave a short comment, say hello, enjoyed it, hated it, whatever. If you put the thumbs up, that's great. If you put the thumbs down, well, okay, I can't help that, but that is an activity at the same time. Subscribing is all of that, blah, blah, blah. That's it. Just wanted to let you know. Thank you, we're working very hard just as hard as before and you won't believe how much we have in store for you. And uh, it's too sad to see that we are kind of not prioritized anymore by this huge monster of a algorithm. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't say, it doesn't mean that we do worse than we did concerning what we are doing or presenting. It's just a unfortunate thing of a mathematical kind of system. But nevertheless, I really enjoy and I really am honored and privileged to be able to do this. No matter what, I'll do it even if there's just one view on each video, it doesn't matter. I've started there, I'm here 10 years after. I will continue for all of you and we are going to share history in a very special way. So think about it next time you watch our material. If you watch like one minute, there is at least an hour behind that minute. So. Please help us out in any way you can and we'll be able to continue. Now, let's continue with this video. Under there, I'm not going to reveal it now. Thanks to so many incredible people out there, I'm being inspired to do something completely new. Never done it before in this manner that I'm going to present to you in a couple of weeks. Um, but under there is the result of something that I never thought I'll be able to do in this way that I'm doing now. And I will share it with you and you will find out another side of the History Hunter. You might even, well, I'm not going to say anything more, but you might even find out that I have a dark side. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you're going to find out that I have another side as well. And the result is the proof is under here. And uh, I can't wait to share that with you. I've been working for like three months to educate myself in different kinds of uh, levels regarding how to use the camera and some processes of uh, what I can do with that. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy that very, very much. But It'll be a surprise. It's going to come up in within uh, August, I hope, and uh, I'll introduce you to that, and uh, I'll help you to to figure out what that is and uh, how you can find me. <laughs> Definitely pieces here. Is that a huge electronic coupler? Del. Del. That is interesting. That is actually a original electrical fitting from the interior of a German bunker. Oh, yep. <laughs> Me and Eagle Eyes, we discovered so many things during this trip. Um, we never even knew about some of them. We just stumbled upon greatness after greatness and we can't wait for that. Why am I showing you this PayPal thing? Well, every month people decide to kind of donate something to help us out, to tag along and go out and do more. And we also pass on some of the pieces that we have to those wonderful people who decides to do that. So one of these things that we have are these US pilot dog adaption goggles. They were used by pilots and air crews 30 minutes before takeoff to adapt their eyes to darkness. This is an absolutely stunning good condition, mint condition I would say, set of goggles. Has the original paper bag as well. So that's up for grab and this thing here, which is very, very, very dear to me. Um, this thing here, as I promised, will be uh, accompanied by a little personal video that I'm going to create for the future keeper of that. That is a German panzer hatch uh, found in the forest with a very special story. I had that for so many years, but I have to let some pieces go now. I'm trying to kind of uh, save up to something unique that we're going to have as a tool to help us to go out and do more and uh, be able to reach locations that we've never been to before. So we are kind of trying to do that in this fashion here. But nevertheless, let's check out who the fantastic people are who decided to donate to our little adventures out there. So I want to say a huge Thank you to all of you, but I'll start with uh, Brian, 
James, Martin, Laura, Donald, Kate, Alejandro. Or Alexandro, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just trying to be cool. <laughs> well, okay. So, thank you for your fantastic donations, everybody. Some of you continue to do that every month, and I'm so grateful. Um, it enables us to do more, as I said, but we have two people who will be the future keepers of this. So, let's see who they are. Drum roll. Da, da, da. James and Laura. Laura, you are now the incredible lucky future keeper of these goggles. And James, this is a very, very special artifact. There's nothing in the world that is the same as this and the story behind it. You're going to be the only one who actually gets to know that. So thank you both. Actually, thank you all for your incredible, great uh, support and your kindness. And it enables us, as I said, to do even more. So I can't say how much we appreciate this enough, but uh, thank you again. But now let's have a look at what we have in store for you for those who want to kind of donate something in the month of august so what does the history hunter have in store for next month donations well first of all i have these two um let's check out this thing here the creation this is a genuine Restored German Panzer II uh, track link found in a forest where the Red Army came in and crashed down on the uh, Germans. And in that forest, there were actually SS with uh, tanks and uh, Kettenrad and um, all kinds of stuff fleeing and heading on towards Berlin. But they were caught up and the Red Army artillery bridge that place with like 5,000 rounds within you know an hour and there's nothing there except from the very very special pieces of history that you can find there even today if you know where to look so to find some of these are just almost impossible but both Bunker Buster Girl my daughter and um, Eli's they found actually quite a few of them and we want some of you to have them so we have this little tank here or panzer and we have some soldiers charging on beautiful thing and i can promise you there's nothing like this in the world this is unique this is just one piece and uh I'm very proud that one of you will be the future keeper of that. Then, I've done this before, and I can promise you, nobody has walked away feeling kind of let down after the month, and I'm showing them what this is. You're going to see the context when I present what I said was a huge news, and uh, when you see that, you will figure out that there will be something really interesting behind that little question mark. But that will be presented in the next month. So until then, feel free to donate whatever you like. And uh, who knows, you might end up having some incredible special pieces from the Second World War. Our team members and some selected donors are invited to see some restoration project. And uh, we just recently saw this. This is a... Uh, US um, barbed wire cutter or wire cutter from the Second World War found at a very strange location and my Patreon supporters and the selected um, donors can actually see that in a special video. So we went through how we found it, how we kind of made it look like it is today and it's about time we pass that on to someone. So. I want to pass that on to a gentleman that's been incredibly generous with us and is always there helping us out. 
So um, I think that's a unique thing you see in that video. And uh, don't, that is yours. Take good care of it. We researched, we traveled, we found it. And now we want you to take care of it. And uh, it's a pretty special little thing considering what we shared together. And uh, this will kind of be the fulfillment of what we do. We do the research, we travel, we go to the location, we find this stuff and we don't actually want it. We want to share it with you. So we pass it on to you. Thank you, Donald, for your incredible support and uh, enjoy that little piece of An history. Example of the fantastic team we have. These are made 3D printed by Roy, one of our most incredible supporters during the time. And that's why he's on the wall of honor. He creates stuff like this and he actually gives some of them to us so we can pass them on to you. We already given away one of these, but look at that. Isn't that incredible? And that is a proof of the, the living and vital kind of community we have in our interest. And it doesn't matter the algorithms of YouTube, whatever that thing is, it's not going to stop us. Uh, opposite, it's not going to stop us, it's going to be totally opposite. We're going to show that we can survive, even though this thing, artificial thing says that what we do is not that important, doesn't want to kind of promote that as much. Well, let's promote ourselves. We know what we're interested in, we know what we share. So how can we help us out to have more of that? Well, as I said, just give us a little like, thumbs up, comment. If all of you who watch our videos, let's say like 10,000 people, if all of you left a comment and a thumbs up, of course I cannot reply to 10,000 comments, but I do today, I comment on or reply on each and every comment. You can see that, I'll take the time, but of course, if there will be 10,000 comments, it'll be maybe something that is not that feasible. But nevertheless, we can grow no matter what YouTube says. And I think we can prove that in the future together. Well, what can I say? Absolutely incredible. And I'm so glad that you are behind our back, either as a subscriber or commenter or a viewer or a supporter it's thanks to all of you that we can do what we do and we want to continue so nothing's going to stop us absolutely nothing is going to stop us thank you my officer thank you my generals my wall of honor individuals people that loves us for what we do and what we share and we are going to work hard to make that happen in the future as well well, we're off to the next adventure. We will definitely see you out there very, very soon. Until then, you know, please stay safe, keep smiling, and bye-bye. Uh,